to me, the purpose of a live instrument is to be able to record that final take that's going to go in the final product. So, so much of my work and your work, if you're writing with video games, so much of our work is to create demos, is to create mock-ups. And what I've learned over the years is when I work on a video game, when I first write a piece of music, there's a very high chance that it's going to have to be edited in some way within the span of about six months to a year. So it's very critical that I always keep backups of all of my versions of everything I've worked on for a soundtrack, and I should be able to easily access it. Because so often I've had clients say six months later, hey, I really like this track, but now that the game has changed, or now that this environment has changed, or the character has changed, or whatever, there's always some change that happens in the project that I have to go back to my files and change the music in some way. With MIDI, you can change the tempo, you can change the key, you can just transpose things very fast. Um, you can copy your MIDI data between orchestral instruments and rock instruments. So it's just one of those things that you need to be aware of that uh, recording stuff live, you need to be doing that as the last step. Otherwise you're committing to something that you probably have to go back and change, uh, which is very costly in time, and especially if you're recording uh, live musicians. <laughs>